So, part two of the boat electronics and NMEA networks. This boat now has two separate NMEA 2000 networks talking to each other via an NMEA 0183 network. These old instruments here, they now have the priority. There is this old compass which I, which I want to keep sending the main, main heading, heading signal. And then there is this old speed lock, wasn't that important for that to have the priority, but uh, it, uh, it's uh, combined together with, uh, with all, all these others here. So. so they have the priority now, the old GPS. I noticed that uh, year 2022 was a problem for many GPSs, old GPSs, they, the, the date is not correct in, in those anymore. So this one also has that problem, so I maybe need to do some programming to block the, the date signal from this one. But every, everything can be done with the new multiplexer which was installed, so, so a little bit more programming, so everything is, is working just fine. Uh, what I noticed with the new multiplexer was that uh, it doesn't work without programming at all, so nothing is like pre-programmed, so if you buy that one uh, or something, some, or if you buy that, that, uh, that specific multiplexer, so then you have to be prepared that uh, you need to do some program, programming with your, with your computer for, for that to work, but we will see about the programming at the end of the video, as I, as I promised in the previous, previous video. So, let's see what was done.
Okay, the multiplexer is now connected to the computer with the network cable. And then I can go into the settings with my web browser. The first thing I do, I will check that the speed settings of the input and output ports are correct. So the serial port is connected to the navigation PC and the speed setting should match the setting of the PC serial port. Then I check that the input and output ports number 1 and 2 are at 38400 bouts and match the speed setting of the NMEA 2000 gateways connected to the respective ports. Then the rest of the port should be at 4800 bouts in my case. Then I give the priority for the NMEA sentences coming from the input port number 3, into which the video speed lock and compass were connected. I check that the input port number 3 is now sending prioritized messages to both output ports, so ports number 1 and 2. When that is done, then I capture the sentences which are now available in the network. So here you see all the NMEA sentences. There is heading and uh, depth and, and uh, speed and uh, a lot of stuff. Then I will enable all the sentences which are in the network. This ZDA sentence from the input port number 3 is now the incorrect uh, time and date from the Furuno GPS. And uh, the next sentences you see here are the depth sentences from the video instruments, which I block from the network. Then finally I write the new settings to the memory of the multiplexer.